Hey guys, this is Rupesh from BeWarm.com and yeah, Xiaomi has announced the Mi UI 12 update globally today and well, we have it installed on our Redmi K20 here. Now this is the EU version of the Mi UI 12 update and yeah, that means it's going to be pretty close to the Indian version. So what are you waiting for? Let's take a more detailed, more hands-on look at the Mi UI 12 update. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, this is the Redmi K20 running the brand new Mi UI 12 update and well, it is feature-packed and I think it looks great. The most obvious and big change in MIUI 12 is the refreshed UI. Yep, MIUI 12 has a new more visual UI all across and it reminds me a lot of Windows Phone and iOS because of the tab titles and the flat UI but I have to say it looks cool. Now the first big change is the fact that the notification shade and the quick settings are now separate. Yes, swipe from the left side brings the notification shade and swipe from the right side brings the control center. Yep, they're even calling it the control center just like iOS. Now the animations here and the visual style is cool but I haven't really got used to this separate thingy. It'll definitely take some time but there is an option to turn off the control center and get the old combined notification shade if you want that. Anyway this new visual style along with some really cool animations is something that's pretty much everywhere. There's obviously the app opening and closing animation then there's the new cool looking storage page check this out. Yeah this looks sleek right. You get such a beautiful visual interface with a really cool animation. Now check out the battery page. Yup, this is cool. See, like I said, you get these visual animating toggles everywhere, be the different options in different settings pages, the about page of the phone, and yeah, everything looks flatter and I definitely like it. Now if you're wondering about this really cool super wallpaper from the MIUI 12 update, well, it wasn't installed by default on the Redmi K20. But yeah, I side loaded them via XDA and it seems to work really well. So check it out. Okay, so this here is the mass wallpaper Xiaomi calls the Red Planet wallpaper and I think it looks pretty awesome. Now here's the Super Earth wallpaper and yeah, this looks pretty good too. Now I've added the link to the APK in the description down below, so go ahead and try it out on your phone that you have. Now apart from the new look, another visual and functional change is the gestures. MIUI 12 uses Android 10 gestures, so you get this big bar at the bottom and yeah, you get the usual gestures along with the swipe left and right to switch between apps. However, the whole back gesture to switch between apps that a lot of MIUI users like is gone. Yep, it's no longer an option in MIUI 12. Apart from that, I noticed some interesting changes in the launcher. As you can see in the launcher settings, you now have an option to enable the app drawer. Yeah, enabling this brings you a very Poco launcher type app drawer, which is nice. Yes, I'm not sure if they'll keep this option in the final release, but they have been testing it out for quite some time now, so I hope they do. There's also an option to choose the Google Discover feed instead of the app wall on the home screen which is I think another great change. Now one of the features in MIUI 12 I was actually excited to check it out is freeform windows. Okay, so the feature is called floating windows in MIUI 12 and there are three ways to run an app in floating window. You can just swipe up on an app and hold and bring the app to this icon to put it in a window. You can even run an app in the floating window from the multitasking screen. Yeah, you get a bunch of these apps and you can add your favorite apps here. You can also run an app in a floating window from the notification directly. Yep, this works well. And as you can see, the apps work well in this window. And almost all of the apps are supported and you can minimize the window to any of these corners like this. Yeah, this is great. Next up, MIUI 12 also brings Dark Mode 2.0 which has the wallpaper dimming feature. So you can turn on the Dark Mode and it automatically adjusts the wallpaper like this. Then there are a couple of new options here. There's individual apps so that you can turn on or off dark mode in certain apps specifically. There's also adjust contrast automatically which makes your dark mode in MIUI 12 adjust colors and lowers contrast automatically when brightness is reduced. Now since we are in the display settings you can see the new sunlight mode which adjusts the brightness to strong light when automatic brightness is off. There's also the always on display settings. I know it's been here since MIUI 11, but MIUI 12 brings a ton of different themes, including new MIUI 12 specific themes. And you know what? I like the fact that Xiaomi has made this a themeable feature so developers will be able to create more always on display themes that you'll find in the themes app. That is pretty awesome. Moving on, MIUI 12 also brings a more feature packed and modern looking camera. First of all, the MIUI 12 camera app has this accent color, yellow by default, but you can change that. Also, all of the options on top have a cool new UI. I like it. Also, only the most used modes are here while the rest are in this more option. You can obviously customize things to get your favorite modes out in the open. So yeah, it's a good feature. There's also a new documents mode here, but my favorite is the new quick snap mode. 
that you can enable in the settings. With this, you can take a photo when your phone is locked. Here's how it works. Just open up the camera and turn off the screen. After that, press and hold the volume button for a while and it will take the shot with the shutter sound. Yep, should be handy when you quickly want to take a picture without unlocking your phone. Apart from that, there are a few more customization options in the camera settings. As you can see, you can have the other camera modes in a more tab or a more panel available by swiping up. You can also customize the colors and the sound effects of the camera. Look, all of these features are nice, but MIUI 12 also brings some really important privacy features. Okay, so there's a dedicated privacy protection page in the settings here. And as you can see, the first tab is permission stats. Here you can see the different permissions and you can tap on each one of them to see apps that are taking up that particular permission. Below there's an all apps button that shows you kind of a list of all the apps that have taken up different permissions. In fact, you can see every single time an app has taken any permission. This is really good. There are also some of the listings marked red because that's when an app took a permission in the background. You can even enable permission notifications here, which will show you an icon in the left side of the status bar where an app takes the location, camera or microphone permission. This is great and I hope Xiaomi also cuts down on the permission some of its very own apps want. Anyway, then there's the manage tab where you can see apps that are taking up unnecessary permissions. Here you can also manage your location access and check out the restrictions on camera access. Now, if you go to special permissions, there's also the mask feature that we have talked about in a last video. Yes, virtual ID, which instead of your real personal info, will provide a virtual ID with kind of a blank info to third party apps. This is great and in theory, it should prevent apps from tracking your behavior. Another important feature in MIUI 12 is the ability to backup things via a computer. It's pretty simple. You can just use this option to backup your call logs, messages, apps, and app data, including third party app data. And once this is done, a backup file will be created, which you can just copy to your PC. And when you want to restore it, you can just connect your phone to the PC and copy the backup folder and just restore all the data. This works fine, but I'm not sure why it does not back up the DCIM folder. Last but not the least is the new Mi Health app that tracks your steps, your workouts, and even your sleep without requiring a fitness tracker. All you need is the phone. As you can see, here's my sleep data, which I am not sure is very accurate. Anyway, there's even a detect snoring and talking during sleep feature, which records your sounds while sleeping through the mic. Now, like I said, I'm not sure if the features of the Mi Health are very accurate, but I will test that out once Mi White will stable builds rolls out in India. Now, apart from all of this, there are a lot of other minor changes in Mi UI 12. So let me run them down really quickly. In Mi UI 12, we can take a detailed look at Wi-Fi information, which shows you details like the speed, signal strength and more. There's even a test network feature in the security app which shows apps taking up data in real time. There's also the really cool dynamic weather app which shows you really cool animations based on the current weather. And yeah, it looks pretty cool when the weather is cool. Mi Share in Mi Hotel also supports Mi computers along with Oppo, Realme and Vivo phones. There's also the option to set a bedtime in the clock app which will remind you to go to sleep at that particular time. Lastly, there's a new focus mode similar to Zen mode in Oxygen OS alongside redesigned screen time which looks pretty good. Well, those are a lot of new features in the MIUI 12 update and yeah, so far I really like this update. I like the changes and the new features but what about you guys? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends who are Xiaomi users. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.